Hey, what's up, my world? Tees, we're back at again with another reaction video. Uh, this time, we're reacting to why young people believe in sharing salary information. This that's such a yo. Part this title is such a boomer. This is such a boomer title. Like the the way the phrase is titled, like my goodness, sharing salary information. It's called flexing. It's called flexing money. Karen, Karen. It's called flexing money. That's that's what the younger generation do it looks good you, you, you know what i'm saying uh roll teams you never heard you know do it for the gram everybody does it for the gram man like she must be like like living in a rock like we all do it for the gram flex buy cars that we can't actually drive own jewelry that we can't even pay for like it's all part of the game show show off real estate property that we can't make it last more than like three years I mean, it, I mean, that's how how it works. That's how our generation is built. You know, it's about and I'm kind of like I kind of for it in a way where you kind of kind of look like you gotta look apart to be apart, right? You gotta look apart from everybody else so people can take you serious. Then from there, when people take you serious, even though you're not legitimate, legitimately making a lot of money, but if you look apart, there's something about that. It's just something about it. Having jewelry, cars, nice houses. That you could profit off of it. You know, the term fake it to make it, same thing. So yeah, royalties, let's go ahead and get straight into the video and just see let's see what they got what, what they're complaining about exactly. Search, finding out what that job pays. Eight states have passed laws requiring some form of salary transparency, and that'll help all job seekers, especially women and minorities who are often on the short end of the salary range. Meantime, some employees are no longer keeping their salaries secret. Amber Cagliano I mean, look, I mean, look at her. Look at her. Why are you taking her videos seriously? She works at Hooters. It's quick, easy cash, so of course she's going to flex it. Like these OnlyFans girls, Hooter girls, they all do the same thing. It's like, even though she works at a restaurant, but she's getting sexualized by the stuff she dress, like the way she dressed. So it's like sex work, easy, quick money. Of course she's going to flex it, because it was easy to get in the first place. What are you talking had about? Seven dollars cash and some change. This Hooters waitress is raking in the tips, and she has no problems sharing her earnings for all the world to see. Then I got ten dollars cash from my second table. Twenty-three-year-old Leah Finley tallies it all up at home after her shift is over. Twenty, forty, sixty. So that was $289. She's part of a growing social media phenomenon called salary transparency. Revealing your salary used to be as private as it gets. A big no-no that you never talked about. But now a younger generation is saying they have no problem laying it all out there. Why should the middle of the street doing this? Like this acre who works for Inside Edition, she's like the the weir a weirdo. Like, why are you gonna be in the middle street? Why are you gonna block off cars from coming in and out just to say your opinion about today's generation, Karen? Like, get off the street, weirdo. It My kind of empowers people to, you know, maybe I could. Hey, make hey, royalties. What's your social media account? What's your TikTok? Yes, Kiss got to slide in into those DMs. I got to have her TikTok. Hey, royalties, let me know in the comment sections down below. I gotta get that TikTok. More. Maybe I'm not getting the amount that I deserve. CNBC personal finance correspondent Sharon Epperson. We want to make sure that there is transparency. That can help to eliminate or help to reduce bias, and then that can help to close the wage gap. How much do you make? I make 53000 Hannah Williams even goes around town asking the once taboo question for her popular TikTok account, Salary Transparent Street. How much do you guys make? 31500 About 35K. 105K. I am a IT engineer. And what, uh, how much do you make? Uh, I make uh, 75000 The oh. more we talk 75? about it, the more we're, we can get bro, they <laughs> Hey, that's the worst place you can have for an IT engineer. All IT engineers I know make 120k or more. Like, what what tech company are you working for, my brother? They're robbing you from your money, robbing you out of your pockets. You need to, hey, if you ever come ac come across this video, you need to quit your job now, and reapply to some other job somewhere else. Start working on reworking your resume, something, bro, my brother. That ain't it. 75k for position you got in the amount of years you got to do the study to get that. Get out, nah, bro, nah a good sense of making sure that we're all paid fairly for the same role. 42% of Gen Z workers and 40% of millennials 
share salary information with each other. Okay. As for Leah, well, she wants to become a lawyer. Maybe. It's a crazy world. You're not going to become living, a lawyer, ma'am. But you know, I mean. Stop. You're going to do sex work. Stop. Girls become a lawyer. They're not doing what you're doing. They're behind bugs. They're in school. You're 23, so. You're not... oh my gosh, you're just a big airhead. It's just. Ooh. Oh, my gosh, you're so dumb. You'll probably. You put in law school as we speak. Because what? You do four years of undergrad. So by the time you graduate, 22. So 23, you should be in law school by now. You're going to be a lawyer. Stop. Look, that dream has already, that's, that ship already sailed away. Let it go. You're going to be a sex worker. You're going to do all the fans after this. You, you probably do all the fans now. First year server is going to be making way more than a first year lawyer. I got $10. First year server is going to make more than a first year lawyer. It's called longevity. You won't make the same amount of money you're making because, yeah, you look nice at 23, but 33, you're not going to look as nice. Then 43, you definitely nobody want to see that. Then 53, you're washed up. You're probably washed up by the time you hit in your later 30s because you want to see the next. Because the guys, we're visual creatures. You want to see really good looking 18, anywhere between like 18 to 27 year olds. Yes, yeah, the first year, congrats, but it won't last. Don't think this. I don't know. A lot of girls think like I'm not, I'm not saying all girls. They're great, successful girls, or girls are able to find successful husbands and live a happy life. I'm talking about these type of specific girls who get this fast, quick, easy money, thinking that this is gonna last a lifetime, or to put themselves on the same level as lawyers or doctors or entrepreneurs. Stop it! Is not. Yes, you're. If you're smart, if you use that money and invest in a real estate property, stocks or whatever, that's smart. But you just use the money and flexing them, blowing off them. Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton bags, Gucci, Lamborghinis, and you know, ten years later, when nobody wants to see see your pictures or videos or see you at the, you know, local Hooters, then what? How you can how you can finance all that? So yeah, royalties. That's it with this video. Uh, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and uh, turn on those notifications. And until next time, catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.